In this video, we're going to simplify an expression with radicals in the denominator. Now, before we do this, let's consider some simple ideas. If I have a square root of 5, for example, and then I square it, that will give me square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5, which is square root of 5 by 5, square root of 5 to the power 2, and the square root of Pfeffer square is equal to 5, which gives me 5. Remember the, uh, the definition of the square root of x2 gives you x. Good. This is the first idea. The second idea is the following. If I multiply the difference and the sum of two numbers a and b, I get a multiplied by a a2 a multiplied by b and then here a b with the minus so that gives me zero and then b by b and there is a minus here minus b squared so now suppose i take my denominator 2 minus square root of 5 the, this is the denominator in the given expression yeah and then I multiply it by 2 plus the square root of 5. This is called the conjugate of this expression. How do you make the conjugate? Just by changing the sign. If it's a minus, it becomes a plus. If it's a plus, it becomes a minus. Now, if you do this, what do you get? Apply this here, you will get 2 power 2 square minus square root of 5 square 2 power 2 4 now this we have seen here it's equal to 5 and the whole thing simplified to a negative 1 now the problem is how do we apply it here so to apply it what we need to do is we go 1 plus square root of 5. The denominator is 2 minus the square root of 5. So we need to multiply the uh, conjugate. But in order not to change the, uh, the value of the expression, we need to multiply top and bottom by the same quantity, which is this, which is this. And then for square root of 20. Now let's put a line here. So it's very simple. You multiply the quantity in the, in the denominator by its conjugate. This is called the conjugate. And then we continue solving. We continue simplifying. 1 by 2 will give me 2. 1 by square root of 5, square root of 5 square root of 5 multiplied by 2 and then square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 5 that square root of 5 square which we know it will simplify to 5 now the bottom it's already done here yeah when you multiply this by this it's already done here and it gives you minus 1 uh, let's not forget this plus 4 square root plus 4 square root of 20 good let's continue simplifying now I have 2 here and the square root of 5 power 2 gives me 5 2 plus 5 7 then I have square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 that gives me 3 square root of 5 Now minus 1, let's keep it for now, and then here we have 4 square root of 20. Now let's deal with 20. 20 can be written as, now we are going to use the uh, prime numbers, remember prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7. So we are going to write 20 as the product of, of these prime numbers. So 20 is equal to 2 times 10. Yeah, I start with the small one. And then 
10 is what? 2 is 2 times 5. And that's it. I stop. There is nothing else I can do here. But it's a good thing because I have got a perfect square. So 20 is 2 power 2 multiplied by 5. I substitute 25. Now, a minus 1 here give me minus 7 minus 3 square root of 5 plus 4. Split this, remember? Square root of A multiplied by B give me square root of A multiplied by square root of B. So square root of 2 squared, square root of 5, 7, uh, negative 7 minus 3 square root of 5 plus. Now this is a perfect square, so square root of 2 squared is 2 by 4, 8 square root of 5. Now, the radicand here are the same, so I can group minus 7. Now, minus 3 plus 8 gives me 5, square root of 5. This is the simplified form of the expression given above this expression here. Now, what are the main ideas? The main ideas are as follows. The idea number 1 is the square root of 5, uh, square root of x, I mean number power 2 gives you your x. Second idea, you multiply the sum and the difference of two numbers that will give you the difference of the squares, which is this. The third idea, this is the third idea, which is the conjugate. You multiply uh, an expression with a radicand by its conjugate, it simplifies, as simple as this. Of course, don't forget that when you multiply the, the denominator by the conjugate, you do the same thing to the denominator. 